Yellowstone National Park was established as the first national park in the world. But for most visitors, when they think of Yellowstone National Park, they think of Old Faithful Geyser that is synonymous with Yellowstone. But Yellowstone has so many different things to offer visitors. We were established partially for our geothermal resources. We have the largest concentration of geysers and hot springs in the world. There's over 10,000 thermal features here inside the boundaries of Yellowstone National Park. But aside from all the hot springs and geysers, we have the beautiful Yellowstone Lake. And Yellowstone Lake is very popular for boating and fishing. It's a beautiful lake. It has about 20 miles of shoreline, so it's a massive lake. And it, as visitors go to it, they can rent a boat. They can go on a scenic boat tour through Yellowstone Lake, learn a little bit more about the history of the lake itself. They can also rent fishing gear here in the park, get a fishing permit to fish in Yellowstone Lake or in some of the rivers throughout the park. And Yellowstone Park has several blue ribbon trout fishing rivers and so many fly fishermen eagerly anticipate their trip to Yellowstone. The Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone is one of the more striking areas in the park. The bright colors in the canyon walls that were a result of some of the geothermal activity that took place there um, really become quite vivid on certain days, on different weather conditions. The river at the base of that is the Yellowstone River. The canyon itself is about 25 miles long and areas where the geothermal activity didn't soften that rock so that it eroded away quickly have given us the upper and lower falls of the Yellowstone River. The lower falls, kind of contrary to what it may make you think, are the taller of the two and those are 308 feet in height. Spectacular waterfall with thousands of gallons of water flowing over that each second. Viewpoints of the canyon are on both sides of the rim and we have some viewpoints where just right outside your vehicle, a short walk, you're able to see the colors of the canyon and the waterfalls. But you can also take hikes down partway into the canyon on designated trails to get some different perspectives on them. Old Faithful Geyser is probably the most famous geyser in the world, and Old Faithful has a lot of mythology built up around it. Um, unfortunately, that mythology has been pretty widespread. It's never erupted every hour on the hour. It's not our tallest geyser, it's not our most frequent geyser, but it is truly spectacular. But Old Faithful averages about 90 minutes roughly between eruptions. And so visitors coming to the Old Faithful area to see that geyser usually don't have that long they have to wait before they'll see an eruption. Every eruption is different and the average height to Old Faithful is about 130 feet. It can get as high as 180 feet so that you have the opportunity to see at least one eruption of Old Faithful while you're in Yellowstone. I've been working in Yellowstone Park now for about 15 years and what I love best about the park is that it never grows stale. There's always something new to learn about Yellowstone. There's no way to learn everything that's here, but even in an area that you know well, each time you come back to that area, it's changed. And so Yellowstone is a constant learning experience. It's always an exciting place to be.